All right, we're done show and tell for now. Let's take a quick look at Revlo. But two gift bags left, guys. That's what it says. All right. So here's my idea. First things we got to do to pull this idea off. First things first, we got to pull out the paintbrush. If you're on source mode, that could be the problem, guys. If you're having any kind of latency issues, let me know. This might be the world premiere of an ancient Chinese technique, guys. First, okay, this is this is an old school technique. Okay, this is super. This is old as time, but we're gonna we're gonna put a new spin on it. No, fuck no, we're not gonna put a new spin on it. We're gonna we're gonna keep it OG mode. Okay, where the fuck is my shit? OG is OG can get Abaddon Black. I'm not going to change anything. Keep this shit as OG as possible. All right. A little water in the uh, ancient Chinese bottle cap. Excellent. Okay, this is how the ancient Chinese techniques... Uh, this is how it was taught to me when I was on the top of that mountain with those monks. We're going to paint this axe black. I'm just going to paint it all black for now because I'll come back in there and do some details later. Straight up black. It's pretty watered down. You can still see red through it. It's fine. I'm not so concerned with the back as much, but it must be still painted. Uh, we're like literally in shadow. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna let that dry, okay? Now what we're gonna do, first things first, we're gonna clean off our brush. Cause this is a uh, a new brush, and I don't want it to get fucked up. Use a little brush conditioner. Okay, let this dry. Now, this is very important to this process. We're going to have to make sure our airbrush doesn't clog on us, okay? So we're going to break down this airbrush. Cause remember I said it was kind of clogging on us a little bit? We're going to have to just do a quick breakdown and a quick scrub while that's drying. Okay. 
All right. Just cleaning some of this bullshit out real quick. All this bullshit that's sticking. getting some uh, trigger sticks so I'm cleaning that trigger area out pretty good getting inside of here okay Math is checking in, brother. We're about to do some OG shit, homie. Gotta get our paint. We're gonna get our airbrush right, though. With the Lord. Lord of Skulls. So there's all sorts of yellow coming out of there. Some yellow definitely got stuck in there. Pushing all that crap out with the needle. We're gonna do some OG shit right here. See, we're, we're literally spraying water right through it with our bottle lid, with our um, squirt bottle. Making sure we're looking good. Okay, we're just cleaning, we're just drying off the trigger. All right, and we're gonna take a little gun oil that we have just chilling over here. Just painted a little oil on it. Now we gotta get it back in its little spot, little hole, get the peg in the hole. The oil that's left, we're gonna put it in these threads right here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then just a tiny bit right here. His name is John C. Canuck Vapor, what's up, brother? Legend. Thanks, brother. You're a legend. Show that man some love, guys. Here we go. So I feel good about this. We got good, we got nice um, trigger feel. Smooth as shit. Now we're gonna come back to basics. We're turning our compressor on. Put our cleaning supplies away. Leaving the toothbrush out. We may need it. We've got oil on this glove, so we're getting rid of this glove. All right, second pass, we're black. Excellent! Yay! 
Thanks for the follow, homie. Sergeant Coupon. Mighty Bonsai. This year earlier. Okay, let's just get this black one last time. Thin black. Enter up speed, tiny dog is chilling right now. Red, white, and blue. Cage Tora, 74. Yo, mad love, homie. $20 donation in the house. Show that man some love. Love you, homie. Alright, we're just cleaning off this brush we just used. And now it's go time. Okay, airbrush, I'm gonna run a little bit of pure air through it. Make sure the solvents are gone. Death and knocking, does my mom play 40K? No, no, she used to be an eBay retailer for a while, big time. I used to own a store in 2004 and when I uh, went out of business, sold her my stock and she just got started on eBay in 2004 and she was doing that all the way up until like last year. She just, I mean, she just got really good at it. All right. I'm blowing some air on this axe to help it seal up. We want it to dry. Okay, it's going to get swifty. Okay, it's gonna get super, super gangster. Airbrush flow improver. Meridi is blue. My man Cage Tour just got his bag. Yo, congratulations, homie. Now the trick here is to find the perfect ratio of stick and thinness. Okay, we feel I feel good about this. There's almost no water in this pot. It's like it's all flow improver. Let's see if it's a ride. Here's the goal. Let's see if we can do it. Not gonna be easy on camera. I've never done this live. Time to be brave.
All right, I think you guys can see what we're going for here. This is like a three-step approach. This is not easy. You'll see what we're going to do here. You'll see what you'll, you'll it'll, it'll, it'll be crazy when we're done. All right, so obviously we're working on the beginnings of lightning. Okay? Is what we're doing here. And you'll see, it doesn't look like lightning yet, but it will. We're just going to sneak some uh, pretty, like, half-fast versions of the lightning underneath the blade. Because you can't really see it down there anyway, but we'll come in there and draw a couple forks in by hand later. Okay, we're going to cl clean the tip. All right, that's step one. Now we put the airbrush down and we go to step two. Step two is really annoying. Let's see, let's see if our brush is right for it. I don't know if it is. But we're going to be brave. Arcane blue. So now we're going to manufacture some lightning bolts. Boom, just drawing some forks, kind of sticking to the haze that we just created. Chris, curse, nine, nine, 20, yo, $20, way more than 20, yo, dogs, <laughs> big shout out, big shout out to my man right here, yo, love you, homie, all day, every day, brother, all right, so we were brave, and now we're going to be brave on the other side again, guys. Curse, thank you. And this is only step two. We got more steps, guys. More things to make this look right. All right, we're getting that uh, arcane blue back. Got, the trick is to get this to the right place. It's got to be very thin. And you got to be have a light touch.
OG mode. Step two. It get, there's more steps, I promise you. <laughs> like for starters, you got all this arcane blue in your on your paintbrush. You come through. You gotta paint these edges, obviously. Got to get that crisp line in there. Congratulations, brother. Good old curse 99. So we're so basically we're creating a lightning storm like over a dark sky on his axe. It's kind of the effect. Which is why we started black. That's it. All she wrote on the gift bags. And now we got to progressively take more. We got to start brightening the streaks up with white and different layers. But you got to get this frame of this axe locked in first. So you can so you can really see what you're working with here. Now, where the fuck is that white? Iron Head, where'd you put it? Up, oh, never mind. Gotta get a little bit of white on the brush. So now what we're gonna do here is we gotta create layers. So his I name is John C. Interrupt speed. Tiny dog is an enabler. <laughs> Big shout out to my man Interrupt Speed for the $5 donation. Love you, homie. All right, so now that we have the white, this is where it's going to get interesting. Now you got to go back to the lightning, and we got to kind of like do what we just did, but over top it. This is so hard. Okay, that's too much water, so I kind of fucked that one up. So we're creating like the same bolt of lightning, kind of like a flash image. I 
over the same bolt. So now it's forking out, you see? More forks. Three, now you're getting a three-dimensional layer to the lightning. Like it's just, pow, coming down out of the night sky. On a scale of 1 to 10, how thin is this white? 10 being the most thin possible. 9. It's 9, but then I'm just I'm making sure to like I'm making sure to make sure the brush isn't super loaded up with them. So I have to, I'm like deloading the brush. That's what makes it so hard. So now it's just like literally just like as much just craziness as possible. And then you can see the the haze from the airbrush is just behind it just enough over the black field to create that dramatic contrast. And now that we're on this white, you know what time it is. Take this white. And hit these edges. There we go. Sorry, it's a lot of holding my breath up in here. And then we gotta cut the details of the ax back in and you'll see how dramatic it looks in one second. There we go. got to box that axe in, you know? Got to hit those dark edges. And then we're trying to bring more white to the peaks. Right there. To where everywhere where it's a little bit more of an angle. Like so. Boom. All day, every day. So now let's see if I can bang out a quick center line on this thing so you can see what we're working with here. Pure bronze. Do I have a copper? I think I have a... Damn it. Fuck is my shit. Hold on. I think I have a different color I want to do. Yep. I got some copper. Genuine vision. What's up? Trying to accelerate. Sorry, guys. All right. This is uh, Vallejo copper. And I'm going to take this copper... And I have a little bit of uh, molten bronze with it. And 
and I'm gonna just try to cut in some of these details right quick. Excellent. Thank you for the follow, goddess. There we go. You can see it's keeping the power inside the blade and we have just like the normal axe. So basically it's like a power axe. Swamp Shack, what's up? Thanks for the follow, homie. So basically the concept here is like this is a power weapon in fantasy. You know what I mean? Not in 40K. If, uh, Age of Sigmar power weapon. Totally magic. <laughs> there we go. Quick detail down the center and then we'll, we'll do the half the, sh the half of the blade real quick whatever that shit's called not a fucking axe scientist uh do i have any black metal give me some black metal yeah got some black metal right here Little bit of Vallejo black steel. Just so you can see what we're looking for. Excellent. Thanks for the follow, Brandon J one ten. And actually, I'm probably gonna redo this. feeling that instead and I'm pulling out a little of aluminum just to do this on the fly for you real quick I have a little aluminum mixed in with the black steel and just dropping a quick highlight down the center right here manufacturing our own highlight of course this is all dependent on a wash right here But yeah, that's what's up. Haven't done that in years. Quick tutorial for all those Night Lord people out there. Running a little bit of cleaner through the airbrush real quick. And we tried to make every single one of these guys' weapon be a focal point, And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Okay, so basically, this is what we're going for, guys. So we started off painting this guy. Okay, and you can see I chose to make that blade non-metal metallic, right? Using some grays and some, this is like some rubber effects from, from uh, Secret Weapon. So that weapon is clear, a clear focal point on this model. Then we painted Scary Terry Sr. We used OG Silvers and created a comic book style crossfade effect using a lot of brushwork on top of the airbrush. So that's clearly another focal point on this model. Okay, these weapons are too spectacular. Now this guy, because thanks to you guys, we sourced this color from you guys and we did a cool ass OSL. Like that shit is literally glowing. So now there's a focal point on the model. And of course, now 
MC Hammer over here has two weapons. We're going to make the lightning axe be one. And this hammer, we're going to have to do something special for it too. So you definitely don't want to get hit in the face by this motherfucking axe. Because that shit will fuck you up. And that's just an easy way to fork lightning. Combo it off your airbrush and a little bit of pay, uh, paintbrush action. Any questions? Yo, uh, <laughs> like we got like a silent room in here. It's almost like, a, damn, did I fuck that axe up, guys? <laughs> Fabule says Lava Hammer. Yo, that's a great one. Tactical Kitten, I don't think I want to hit the face, get a face with any axe. Fair point. Molten Core Effect on the on the hammer, black with uh, glowing red cracks. That'd be sick, Mastermind. Fuck low life. No one said anything. You're like fucking with my ego right now. Like, no, I suck at painting. Why does anyone watch me? <laughs> like, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. All right, now you're pouring it on too thick. I do like the idea of a lava hammer. I think we can do that. But that's one of the first ancient Chinese techniques that I learned with my airbrush was this type of lightning over a black field. I used to use OG Hawk Turquoise, and I would create this effect, and then it took me a while to realize the layers. I If, if I was doing this on a big surface... I would have actually come back in with the airbrush. So we would have painted all this. Then I would have did I would have did the first thing we did with the airbrush again and mute all this down and draw one last fork. So it would literally look like lightning far off in the distance and then now in the foreground. And you'd be looking into this weapon like, yo, I see infinity. Like so, but you have to do it on bigger surfaces. Like I don't I, I don't I don't have the ability to do it on this small of a surface. Death of Deal. Excellent. Uh, uh, dealer of Death. Yeah, for real, dog. Your line is just one of the best. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Um, you know what time it is. We're, we're, we're approaching the last moments of the last stream of October. A lot of things happened this month. We sent out a bunch of Halloween-themed gift bags from September. Um, we went through all our gift bags this month, went through a lot of items in the Revlo store. It was a great month. We did a lot of raffles, but obviously November is going to shit on October because we're going to kick it off with the raffle. You have all the way into the 31st. <laughs> Serenity. Thank you, brother. Yo, Serenity, $10 donation says worth it for the lightning tutorial all day, every day. Uh, yo, love this guy right here. So, you have into the 31st to dump 1,600 Yo Dogs into the Bloodthirster Raffles, $120 model. Anyone can win it. Okay, then on the 1st, we reset and we start the first stream of the month. Captain K. Uh, Gimbam and, yo, I'll literally look at that in a second. Captain K, all the way here at the top. That guy is our top donor to give away for the first stream of November. Then we're going to give some shit away, some Age of Sigmar stuff away on the second Tuesday. Then the third Tuesday, I believe, is the 15th. We're going to give away the entire Gore Chosen, including the three models you see here and 
this guy right here, MC Hammer, he will be done. And he will be in, in, included in that board game. Okay. Last giveaway. Like, we're going to start giving away these shirts in November and in December. We're going to do an advent calendar in December. So get ready for that. We're not going to have any yo dogs because I'm about to cut it short because I'm going on vacation. But I will just give something to you guys literally every fucking stream no matter what. And we will give away. Top donor to give away. We'll give away the one of a kind hoodie personalized if you if you want so if you want it like i'm i'm not saying that people want my autograph or anything if it's what you want i bought a great marker for it otherwise i will just use the marker for some other thing no worries but that's our that's our plans prospero burns will be in the revlo store literally as soon as the new month starts we're gonna have all sorts of dope shit in there okay you guys know what comes next don't you you know it's Friday. Why you do this, Lamp? Why you do this, Lamp? What's up? Yo, it's Friday, and of course I got Slow Fuse Gaming on the line. No way, dude. This is a reasonable facsimile. Robot. We also have Jen. We also have <laughs> Gentastic. <laughs> Gentastic check-in. And if you guys don't know, Slow Fuse Gaming and Gentastic, hashtag Team Jen and that guy who paints, we are going to be <laughs> turning over the reins to these guys. It is... Literally, Freestyle Friday, it's the literal best of all days, all the tutorials ever, and I believe ever. that you're working on something similar to that, what, what I'm working on. Uh, I think it's the same thing. Are you literally working on MC Hammer too? I think it's the same <laughs> thing. MC, MC Hammer. Hammer time. <laughs> I love the names you guys come up for your models. Yes, I, like I think this is MC Hammer, uh, the, the reasonable fact simile of MC Hammer. Uh, <laughs> quite as cool because he doesn't have like a bitch and lightning axe so well i mean i got i got you know i had to wait to the last 10 minutes to blow your mind with some shit you're like damn it i, I, I didn't know it was to do lightning now i gotta do lightning <laughs> see like what if what if i would have like what if you would have bounced over here and i already had like lightning on the axe? i literally would have killed myself my next stream <laughs> the next stream uh literally november 1st would be me just turning on the stream and killing myself so like it, it just gonna <laughs> kill yourself. like that would have been that would have been what happened but um it, that's, that's so good that's what so we're doing good. guys yeah no we're gonna uh, we're gonna work on some metallic armor today i figured that's the way we're gonna go out with this fourth chord chosen we have been doing the exact same thing that kenny's been doing uh as far as models but we've been showing you a different route to get paint on them using uh you know i won't say my style but you know my theory on going into color and uh, showing how the exact same piece of plastic can turn out in you know incredibly different ways so uh, we're going to continue with that theme tonight uh we're going to show people we've had a lot of requests on doing metallics using uh glazing and airbrush basing and things like that so we're gonna do that today um and uh yeah so, so, we a lot of fun. so we're gonna yeah, host we're gonna so we're gonna host this guy which means ak we're gonna raid his ass <laughs> Jen Tastic's gonna be in there, so be nice to her. Only if if, if you do any at Jen's, it's always it's always flexes and unicorns. If you're raiding, <laughs> you, can it, you can flex at Jen, but be be really that. You know what that says? That says be real asinine to that other guy that paints. It says <laughs> scary <laughs> scary Terry's to the other guy who paints, and <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna host them, and we're gonna watch, and sack we're gonna. Sacks. I like the chivalry. That's nice. A sack of sacks to the guy <laughs> with paints. Sack, sack of sacks. Every model has one, you know, and every model. 